Um, I want to go over how to uninstall Stages Flight and reinstall the most current version. You've been getting a lot of questions on how to do that, especially since the latest update that we have out that fixes our YouTube video issue. So let's start with this. Um, now, there are a number of facilities that are still using laptops. Um, and then a lot of you guys are using the Nook and tablet option. I'm going to try to speak to both of them. So right now, let's assume that you are using a Nook and a tablet. So you would see the rider screen on the display, um, either your projectors or TVs. We want to close flight first. So to do that, grab the keyboard, that Bluetooth keyboard that comes with the system, tap on the Windows key, you'll get this pop-up in this toolbar. Navigate down to the Stages icon, and then you'll see two little pop-ups there. One that shows the instructor panel, one that shows the rider screen. On your big display, which is going to act as your desktop, um, we need to get you to the rider screen, or to the instructor panel. So what you want to do is just pull your cursor over to the instructor panel, click on it, and now you'll have that right in front of you. Now, understanding you're looking at the big screen um, as you're navigating through this. Those of you with laptops, this is the screen that's on the laptop. So now we're together. Let's go over to settings, click on settings, and let's select exit app. Okay, that will just close down stages flight. Now everyone's desktop might look a little bit different, but this is generally what we're, what we're going to see. Now we want to uninstall Flight. To do that, go over to this Windows icon, left click on it, select Settings, and go over to Apps. Inside of Apps, in this search, this list, just type stages. And then there's stages flight. Now some of the questions that have been coming up are, do I have the most current version? Well, this is a way you could also see if you have the most current version. If you click on this stages icon, you'll see here the version of flight that you're running. Okay, that is the most current version, 1.6.4. 0.2309. If you have that, don't do anything. You're good. Um, close it down, open flight up again, and you are ready to roll. If you don't have that one, if you have a lower number than that, we want to uninstall it. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to uninstall that. So all you do is click uninstall. It asks you if you really want to do that. We'll say yes. And I'll go through some of these um, some of these pop-ups, just say yes to them. Good, and it's gone. Doesn't take that long. Now, we use a video player to play our videos inside of Flight. It's called VLC. We like to uninstall that when we're doing fresh in installs as well, so that you will be loaded the most current version of Flight, or the most current version of the VLC player. So let's click on this. In this box, let's click VLC, and you'll see there's the VLC player. Let's uninstall this one as well. Again, the pop-ups just say yes. Um, this one's a little bit more cumbersome. Just follow all these prompts. Yes, we want to uninstall. Good, gone. Okay. Now let's close the apps settings. Okay. And now just to really clean it all out, it's best practice to restart your computer. So to do that, go over to the Windows key, tap on it, tap on this power button, and then select restart. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to restart my computer, but you guys do that. Click on restart, the computer will come back up um, after a minute or two. Um, then you'll have to log back into it. Okay, on the log on screen, um, it'll say stages flight and in the password. Um, 
use the typical stages flight password. I'm not going to say what it is here on this video because I'm not sure who's watching this video. I don't want to give that password out to everybody, but instructors and club admin should know that. If not, um, shoot me a, a DM on Facebook and I will I'll clear it up with you and tell you what it is. Okay, so let's assume that your computer is back up. You're ready to go. Now we need to install Stages Flight. Um, so open any web browser. Go to stagesflight.com. Do not log in. I know as instructors and club admin, that's the first thing we do. Don't log in. If it automatically logs you in, log out. Let's browse to the bottom of the page and let's click on download. And then let's browse down a little bit and let's click on download version 1.4, 1.64. Okay, now with, with Google Chrome, it's going to load and you'll see the progress here. And then at the end, of the download it's going to say run or set up and you could just click on that and it'll start the setup from there um, other browsers it may actually just load it into your downloads folder and you'll have to you'll have to go find it I'm going to show you that in a second um, after this download is complete okay once the download is complete you may have this option to click on setup and that will take it and it will run with the setup. There may be some browsers that don't give you that option and it just downloaded into the downloads folder. Let me show you where that is. So if you don't have this option, click on any one of these folder options here or shortcuts and then find where it says downloads. Click on it and you'll see a download option here or the setup option of 146. Double click on that and it'll start running from there. I'm going to close this and I'm just going to click on this option here. We'll tap on it. Then it takes you through a setup wizard. Hit next or yes or whatever it is on all the buttons, uh, all the options that you have. So I'm going to accept the terms. I'm going to select next because this is the standard um, in the default area where we where we store videos and store music. Um, there is an option to change that. Um, we can talk about that in another video. Okay, you're going to get some of these pop-ups. Just say yes. Okay, we also uninstalled the VLC player, so it's going to install that as well. Select your language. Um, I'm speaking English, so I'm here, but we're, we're all over the world, so select your language. I'll just say next and next. Um, these default options are fine. It's going to ask to run the VLC media player. If you say finish and leave this box check, the VLC player will pop up. It's not going to break anything. It just gets in the way and it's another step. So I just uncheck this one. I don't want it to start playing right now or to run. Okay. And then we have finished the stages flight setup. A few other steps just to make sure we're ready to roll with this. I'm going to select do not launch stages flight because I want to close all these things up. So. I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to click. I'm going to select finish. I'm going to close my web browser. You'll see that I have my shortcut here. I'm going to double click on it to open Stages Flight. You're going to put in your location ID. Let me put in my demo one. You'll put in your password. Okay, now that's the standard stages flight password. Um, DM me if you uh, if you need it, um, or if you've forgotten it, I'll tell you what it is. 
Let's click on Remember Password, because then you'll never have to put it in again. It'll just start up each time. Then we'll select Log In. Okay. At this initial setup, um, people that are using or facilities that are using Nooks and tablets will get this Waiting to Connect screen. If you're using a laptop, you will not get that. But what I want you to do is get go grab the keyboard again, and let's close this. There's a few things I want you to look at um, to get the system running perfectly before your first class. So let's close this right now. Let's go into settings. One thing which would help us, and I believe would help you as well, is turn off automatic login of heart rate sensors. Um, what that does is if a client or a rider has a heart rate monitor which they have put into their Stages flight account and they booked a class at some point in your facility, if you have automatic login of heart rate sensors on, it will be looking for that client's or that rider's heart rate monitor all the time. And there are times that they may actually have two gauges on the screen, one for their bike number and one for their heart rate monitor. So in our cycling setting, we may not want that on. If we're doing a group exercise setting, like a group fitness setting um, in the weight room or in a circuit room or something like that, we might want to turn that on. But for cycling, we want that turned off. So let's click this off. Good. Now let's click Save and then let's select back. All these others are fine, don't mess with them. Okay, so let's click back. Okay, now we just wiped out everything that was saved on the computer for Stages Flight. And now we reinstalled Flight. Okay. Don't worry, everything is saved on our servers. We just need to force a pull of all of your data, all your profiles, maybe your YouTube videos as well um, from, from our Stages Flight servers. To do that, very simply, just click on Add Profile and Route, and then click on this Refresh button. Now depending on how many instructors you have and how many profiles they have, this could take a few minutes. We'll let it run here. And then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, now you'll see that all the videos, music, graphs, which are your profiles, have updated successfully. I'll click OK. Now if I go into my account, you'll see all of my profiles. If I go into videos, you'll see all my videos. If you're working with a laptop, you're good to go. If you're working with a Nook and tablet, you need to select Remote and be on this Waiting to Connect screen. Otherwise, the tablet will not connect to the Nook. OK, that's it. Um, let me know. Um, and also let customer support know um, if there are any issues.